Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to draw and format a basic bubble chart in Excel 2010. So before we start, let's take a look at what the end product should look like. Over on my left hand side, I've got some basic demographic information. I have birth rate, life expectancy and GDP per capita for five countries, Brazil, Japan, India, Ireland and Spain. Now, because I've got three sets of variables, this can be a little bit awkward to display on a single chart. So over on my right hand side, I've got one solution to this, and that is to use a bubble chart. So my first variable, which is the birth rate in column B, that's displayed on the x-axis. My second variable, which is the life expectancy, that's uh, displayed on the y-axis. And my third variable, the GDP, is displayed by the circles or bubbles on the chart. And the size of the GDP is reflected in the size of each bubble. So you can see some of them are bigger than others. I've also added in some labels here, and I've added in some graphics of the flags of each country to help uh, make the chart look a little bit better. A chart like this would look great on a presentation. So let's see how we go and make this chart. Back to the beginning here, and I've got just my data at the very, very start. My same demographic information as I've just shown, and I've got that for each of my three variables for each of my five countries. Now, to create, create the actual um, bubble chart is very straightforward. Just select the data that you need. So, uh, notice I'm just selecting the numbers. I'm not selecting any labels or titles or names or anything like that. We will add those in in a moment. From the Insert ribbon on the top of Excel, in the Charts area, click on the Other Charts button. And down near the bottom are the bubble chart options. So, I'm going to choose the 3D option here. So, I'll click on that button there. Now, just moving the chart, making it a little bit bigger to give myself a bit more room to play with. And I can see I've now created the chart, uh, but it does need a little bit of formatting because we can't tell from this uh, which bubble represents which country, uh, what the value of each bubble is, and we've got a lot of spare space in here as well. So let's tidy this chart up a little bit first of all. First I'm going to select the Series 1 label on the right hand side and just uh, delete that by uh, pressing the Delete key, we don't need that. Next, uh, we don't need these lines on the chart either as well, so I'm selecting that with the left mouse button and just uh, hitting the delete key, that removes those. I'd like to spread the bubbles out a little bit here, so I'm going to first of all select the Y axis with the left mouse button, then right click and choose the format axis option. And in the axis option minimum radio button here, I'm going to click on fixed and I'm going to put in a value of 60 um, to, uh, as a minimum value for the Y axis. And that does a good job in spreading the bubbles out. I'm going to do something similar with the x-axis, so I've selected it with my left mouse button, then right click, choose format axis, and once again click on fixed minimum, and in this case I'm just going to put in a value of 5, and press enter. I want to add some titles and labels to my chart, so in the chart tools layout ribbon, so select that at the top, I'm going to add in a um, chart title, so click on that, and I'm going to place it above the chart. And I'd like, and you can see Excel automatically puts in the words chart title here. And it, while that is selected, just press the equals key and then select the cell with my chart title demographics in, this, in, in, in my data over here on the left hand side and press enter and that will add the demographics title to you as well. I next want to add in the axis title. So first of all, I'm going to choose the axis title and I'm going to choose the first one, the x-axis, which is the horizontal axis and put the title below the axis. So select that option there. And while the axis title is selected down here, type in equals. And you notice that's the same uh, if you go up to the formula bar. It's the same as typing in the formula bar up here. And I'd like uh, on my um, uh, x-axis here, uh, this is the birth rate. So I'm going to select cell B2 and press enter. I'm also going to add in, uh, click on the axis title button again. And this time I'm going to add in the vertical bar. And I'm going to choose the horizontal title. And press the equals button and click on the cell C2 with life expectancy in it. So that's just a quick way of adding titles to your chart. So I'm nearly there, but I still don't know. I've got a good chart, I could finish, but I still don't know which bubble represents which GDP or which country. And we can see that some of the bubbles are almost equal in size, so it can be hard to make these out without labels. So let's add some labels. So to do that, just click on any of the blue bubbles here. You can see that they're all selected. Right click and from the pop-up menu, choose Add Data Labels. Now you can see that Excel has added in, in this case, it's added in the values for life expectancy, so we need to change those. So let's uh, do that one at a time. So I've selected the first one here, and I can move it. Each one of these is draggable. While it's still selected, I'm going to press the Equals key, and I know that this is the value for Japan, so I'm going to then click on the cell containing the GDP for Japan, 
and press enter. So now for each bubble, I'm going to label them with the GDP. So not only will I have a size, but I will also have the value. I'm going to type in equals, and this one here is for Spain. So I'm going to select cell D7 and press enter. For Ireland, just select, press equals, and click on cell D6, press enter. For um, Brazil, select, type equals, and select cell D3, press enter. And for India, press equals, select cell D5, and press enter. So now we have our a pretty good um, bubble chart with our labels, titles, values, um, sizes of bubbles, and the values of each uh, bubble shown here. The final thing I want to do then is to add in the graphics to represent the um, uh, flags of each country. So I'm going to do that once again from uh, one at a time and from left to right. So select the first cell here, right click, from the pop-up menu choose format data point, and this gives us a, a, a format data point window. We want to fill uh, each of the bubbles with a graphic, so select the fill option, and underneath all the fills you'll see the middle one here is picture or texture fill, so select that. And we, um, I've already downloaded some files representing each country, so I'll click on the file. I've downloaded these from the World Factbook, by the way. So the first country is Japan, so I'm going to select the Japan flag and insert that. Go to the next country, which is Spain, choose fill, select the picture or texture fill option, click on the file button to browse for the file. So this is Spain, so click on the Spanish flag and insert. You'll notice, by the way, uh, it, it always defaults to the previous one when you add in uh, adding in a graphic. For uh, Ireland, choose uh, Fill again, select a picture, uh, click on the File button to browse for the Ireland flag. There it is, and insert. The next one then is Brazil, so click on the Brazil bubble, bubble, choose Fill, select Picture or Texture Fill, click on File, and choose the Brazil flag. And the last one here to add in the Indian flag, just select the last bubble, choose Fill, select picture or texture, click on the file button to browse to the India flag and click on insert. And you can close then the format data point window. So now we have our bubble chart uh, formatted nicely. Um, this looked great on, on a presentation as I say. We've got our data uh, all shown here. We can visualize life expectancy, the birth rate and the GDP per country on our chart. So I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.